I do something called standards-based grading, and that means that there are no points in my class, and all you have to do to get a grade is pass a certain number of objectives or standards. So my syllabus has a list of between 30 and 50 standards for my intro physics classes, and it's just this kind of rank of, if you pass this many standards, you get an A, you get a B, you get a C. It's Takes, it takes students a little bit to learn how the system works because they're very used to the point system and they're very used to uh, gaming the system with points. So with points, they understand it. But what does the point system do? Well, okay, do you give points for participation? Do you give points for showing up? Do you give points for doing the lab or just a lab report? In my class, there are no points. All you have to do is learn the material, and demonstrate that you know it. And that means weekly quizzes for me. And if you don't pass the first time on a quiz, well, that's okay. I want you to learn the material, not just pass a quiz. I want you to learn the material. So don't pass the first time. You have a week to try again. And then if you think about it, you know, that's okay. I can do quizzes like that, sure. But then you think, lab reports? I have all these other things I want to do too in my class. Well, with my standards-based grading, I actually have four standards, four objectives, four labs, and I also have two objectives for a discussion post, a science communication type of an assignment. It's scary at first because as teachers, we also came up in the point system usually, and we know how point systems work. But it's so freeing. It's not, I don't have to say this is an eight or a nine. I don't have to argue with a student. This should be an 87 and you gave me an 84. Nope, it's pass, minor error, major error, or insufficient. I could, there wasn't enough to grade or you didn't complete it. And so the feedback is fast. All I do is I look, I'm scanning, yep. You know, usually check to see if you have the right answer. Check if you have your physics demonstrated very clearly. Great, pass, or just circle where the minor error is. And so I'm not saying, eh, is this an eight? Is this a nine? Is this a 40? Is this a 42? All I'm saying is you got it or enough feedback for them to say, I need to do just a little more studying or I need to do a lot more studying. So standards-based grading is, it's very freeing in many ways. And it allows me through my assessment to focus on really what I want them to learn. It's these objectives, these standards. You're not gonna get any points for sitting in class or for, for chatting in class, for answering questions, for asking questions. And it focuses me and the students on really the content that I want them to know. So I have done standards-based grading for, oh, I think 12 years now, and I love it. And I, I'm still changing it every semester. You know, I'm, I'm still adapting it. It is a constantly improving process, but the students really end up liking it. The student comments at the end of the semester say, no, nah, I wasn't sure at first, but no, this was good. I loved being able to retake it because if I didn't get it the first time, I could study more. And it helped me focus on the learning, not a grade, not a point number. So I'm a huge proponent of standards-based grading. There's lots of different things out there, lots of different resources on there. And um, make it your own. Go try. Make it your own. Have fun with it.